Good morning, friends. I truly hope y'all have a blessed day today. Um, I'm sure you all know by now that we've got the Russian bear. He's uh, done stood up and he is fixing to make a move. Well, let me tell you about that. You know, the Bible says that here in the last days, and I'm sorry about my eye, about the time I pressed record on this video, my eye started bothering me. Probably one of the little devils sitting there sticking a demonic feather in my eye just to aggravate me <laughs> but that's all right hey listen there's gonna come a day that every one of them little demonic imps and aggravating little rascals gonna be cast into the lake of fire and they ain't gonna be nowhere around to bother us saints of god no longer but anyway war my friend uh, is going to easily be able to make the world cry for peace. Especially when the big bad bully starts rearing up his ugly head. You know, the Bible says that in the last days in Ezekiel's 38 war that Russia along with the help of Iran, Ethiopia, and Libya, is going to move down and attempt to attack Israel. And all of them know that Israel's got the greatest wealth of natural gas and oil. In fact, it's going to be where they say, have you come down to Israel to get a spoil? To take booty? Which means treasures. But God says in that day that you come, don't you know that my people of Israel are living at peace in their land? Now, see, a lot of people think that that means that they're going to be under a peace treaty. No. No, that ain't necessarily what that means. It means that they're living at peace. In other words, they're minding their own business. They're not starting wars. In fact, Israel has strived to live at peace with everybody in the world. It's the other nations that are attacking Israel. But anyway, let me tell you what's been going on at my house. Or should I say, next door to my house. We have a young couple that moved in a year and a half ago. I don't even think, no, they ain't even been there two years. Well, one day, they get this big package. Come to find out, it's a like 100 or 200 gallon tank that you can store water in. Fresh, potable water. My wife told me about that. I said, dog, what? They gonna get thirsty? Huh. Then after that, they put up solar panels. And we had already had somebody contact us about solar panels. I thought, I don't want them things. I don't need no solar panels. And now, they're building a greenhouse behind their home. So, you know, I was thinking, what are they doing? 
they got water they got solar panels and now they're building a greenhouse I was talking to Jennifer about it she said they are end timers <laughs> I said end timers she said yeah they believe that we're gonna have to go through the tribulation period I said oh they do she said yeah well I have talked to them in the past and they both claim to be born again Christians but they believe that the church will go through the tribulation period so what are they doing they're preparing for it well the only thing with that is yeah if we had to go through it they'll eventually uh, hunt us down and cut our heads off I, I maybe he ain't read that part of the scripture so anyway I've been thinking about that thing and I thought you know well it wouldn't hurt to have some extra water in the house so we bought or been buying uh, you know these 24 32 packs of water I don't plan on going out and buying no 200 gallons of it or a, a container for it. I'll just stock up on, you know, the 32 packs. And I did have someone with the same company come over and talk to me about solar panels. So, he showed me the cost of it and the cost is high but he also showed me that it's going to pretty much pay for all my electricity and it instantly adds value to your home if you never if you ever wanted to sell it you know so I thought, you know what? It probably wouldn't be a bad idea to have solar panels because, you know, we can buy water. We can stock up on non-perishable food, but you can't store electricity. And you know as well as I, They've been threatening that we're going to go, what, three days, three months, three weeks, or something where we're going to have no electricity. Well, the reason they would want to do that is not only would that kill a lot of elderly that depend on electricity to run their life supporting uh, equipment, but they don't want electricity so that you can't get on the internet and find out exactly what's going on. Well, bless God, the sun comes up every morning. And if you got solar panels, at least we can keep up with what's going on. We may not be able to access the internet but we should be able, if there is a radio station broadcasting, we should be able to tune in. If there was to be a TV station, even though it would probably be government propaganda. So Jennifer and I have decided that we're gonna stock up on water and we're going to stock up on non-perishable food And then we will get solar panels so that if the power grid goes down, at least we won't freeze to death at night because it does come with a battery that will give you enough electricity to get you through the night until it recharges the next day when the sun comes up. 
Now, I know this sounds like an infomercial, but I'll just tell you this. The old saying is, monkey see, monkey do. You've heard that. I forget how the rest of it goes, monkey see, monkey do. But as I, before I made this video, I thought, monkey see, monkey do. That monkey's in the military, so I'm going to do as he do. <laughs> I mean, seriously, you think of that. He obviously knows something that we don't know. Don't think for one minute these military people don't know what's ahead of them. Because we're traveling. And I'm sure they are all sworn to secrecy that they can't get out here and start a panic that war is imminent. So if by chance you feel the desire or feel the need to stock up on water, especially with Russia about to attack Ukraine, I would say now would be the time to do it. I would suggest you get some non-perishable canned foods, definitely foods that don't have to stay frozen, and you can pray about that, whether or not you want a, a solar panels on your home or not but if you do uh, just send me a message and I will send you the information from the company that's installing mine and going to install uh, or that has installed my neighbors and it will be installed in ours. He will be back this Thursday and um, to start getting the ball rolling because they got to get a permit to put something on your house. But let me tell you, it's going to be a sort of comforting thought knowing that at night when the lights go out sometimes for whatever reason ours ain't going to flicker our lights are not going to we're not going to wake up with the alarm clock flashing we're not going to wake up the next morning and not have electricity so you know, we take it for granted. I hate to say it. We take it for granted. And you know as well as I, the government is not telling us the truth. And they know when the electricity is turned off, a lot of people are going to die. Well, anyway, God bless you. Like I said, I'm sorry if this sounds like an infomercial, but when, when that guy started building that greenhouse in the back, <laughs> that was the last straw for me. I thought, this guy knows something. He knows something. And then I get up this morning and hear on the news that... Our president is simply telling Americans, if you don't want to get caught in the war, you better get out of Russia and Ukraine right now. That he's not going to send anything after you. You're going to be stranded just like in Afghanistan. Talk about a sorry leader. That's one right there that would leave people behind. Mm. Anyway, if you want to know about, just send me an email. 
God bless y'all and when Russia starts moving, it's only a matter of time before the trumpet of God sounds. God bless y'all.